everybody, very quick video today. I've been asked a number of times what my video setup looks like. What this is, uh, what this is all about in my living room. If you don't know, I live in a very small apartment and uh, I don't have like a studio or an office or anything here because we live in the middle of a city. Not for long though, we're moving and I will have an office which is gonna be awesome. But um, yeah, I thought I'd show you the setup, what equipment I use to make these to camera videos. I don't know what videos, not to camera, but you get what I mean. So uh, yeah, I thought I'd use my new G9, which turned up yesterday to, uh, to film the different bits of equipment that I'm using to make these videos. Um, yeah, right, so first up, I have two lights pointing directly at me. One is a tiny, um, what's that called? Viltrox, I wanna say. That was about 30 quid on Amazon. It's currently sitting on a cheap Manfrotto tripod, uh, but it could be on a light stand. I don't know why that light stand's there. Now those lights take big Sony batteries or they can be plugged into the mains. That one is plugged into the mains, uh, but I've got one behind me, which I'll talk about in a minute, which is using batteries. This light to my right, your left, uh, this is a big sort of um, softbox type light from Newer, I think it was called. It came in a pack of two on Amazon. I think they're about 50, 60 quid for the two. Uh, one of them broke within a week, but this one's been great. I've had it for about a year, hasn't let me down. Came with stands and a big softbox thing and a huge bulb, and uh, yeah, it's done me well. Nice soft lighting, unlike this one, which, which isn't soft lighting. So yeah, all together, those two lights, probably 60 quid, I guess. Now there is one more light behind me, which is a slightly longer version of this Vitrox one. And as I said, that's powered on the Sony batteries at the moment. And it's been held up by a Joby Gorillapod, which is, uh, which is sitting on my sofa. And it's pointing at the blind behind me, which is just giving a bit of a, a luminance. Now the reason I put that there is because I did a video a few weeks ago and uh, I didn't have it and people just said it looked weird because there was just a, a purely black background and you couldn't really see my hair because uh, I've got dark hair, so. That just, it did look a bit odd. So that's why I've put that light there. That particular Gorilla Pod is about 90 quid. You could definitely use a smaller and cheaper one. That Viltrox light, I keep saying Viltrox, I think it's Viltrox. That again was about 30 quid. And the Sony batteries, I say Sony batteries, I think I just got third party knockoffs. So they were maybe like 15 quid for two. Now sound, so the other week I got this Amazon Basics like boom stand thing. And I had to get a little adapter for it so that my uh, road Video Mic Pro could fit on top of it, but that's been great. And it's connected to the camera via a big long road extension cable, which I think was about a tenner. Now in terms of the camera itself, that is the G85, the Panasonic G85. And I've got the 12 to 35 2.8 on it. It's currently set to 2.8 and about 30 mil. I would say, which is the equivalent of 60 mil on full frame. And I would suggest that it's probably two and a half, three meters away from me, something like that. Yeah, so that's that. Hopefully that was that was interesting to people other than the people that asked the question. I don't know, but yeah, people asked, so I thought I'd, thought I'd do a quick video on it. Thank you very much for watching. I promise I won't sit indoors in this place for all my videos. I'm, I'm getting a bit bored of it. I will go out into the wilderness soon, but uh, yeah, in the meantime, Hopefully that was helpful. Okay, so they spelt their own product wrong. They've called it Viltorx. Which is probably not a great sign, but I can confirm they are good lights. Viltorx. Viltorx.